Hello everybody, tis I the rumpled one. You ever feel stuck? Like maybe you're stuck in a rut, stuck in a dead end job, stuck in a bad relationship, stuck in a dead town. Well the thing is, it's all up here. You're stuck in your mind. It's like when I talk to traders and trading videos sometimes people feel they're stuck in a position no you're not stuck you could sell or cover and get out of that trade but in their mind is that's where they're stuck same is true in life you know if you're stuck in a bad relationship that's your choosing you don't have a gun in your to your head you can choose to leave but maybe you're afraid to leave so what do you do do you do anything what about being stuck in a job well you say well, well I need the job because I need money I gotta pay bills I gotta feed my family so you feel stuck Well, I would counter, what else are you doing? And you might reply, well, what do you mean? I go, well, if you feel like you're stuck in this job, are you doing anything when you're not working to start producing income? Chances are the answer would be no. Maybe starting a little side business, doing side jobs. till maybe one day you were making as much money on the side as you were in that dead end job you were stuck in and now you can tell them to take that job and shove it see stuck in your mind it's like being bored it means your mind isn't creating anything so you're not really stuck and there's very few times when you're stuck maybe you get your car stuck in a ditch or hole or sand or mud and you're spinning your tires then you have to winch out or get towed out but that's just temporary and that's the point if you're stuck you're in a temporary position until you decide to take action and do something about it do you still feel stuck See, usually, it's not as bad as you think it is. Because if it were, you'd probably be doing something about it. So some people, they, they like to talk about their position and how bad it is. But once again, it gets back to the individual. What are you doing about it? What are you doing to improve your situation? I mean, are you really taking care of business or are you just getting by? Are you really stuck? I don't think so. You're stuck in your mind. Maybe you're stuck in your ways. Maybe you're just a little afraid. Let's just, you know, look in the mirror. Be honest with yourself. You don't have to tell me, but if you feel stuck, go look in the mirror and say, and tell yourself that you feel stuck and the reason you feel stuck and the reason why you can't do anything about it and find out if it's fear that's really holding you back is that what it is I mean some people you know they watch my videos they see what I'm doing and they kind of wish they could do it but I'm telling you you can do it they go, oh yeah, but you bought your place then and this is now. Guess what? You could probably buy some of these places maybe a little bit cheaper. Maybe not here, but there's other places. They're going for pennies on the dollar compared to what they used to sell for. But you say you don't have the money. Well, if you don't have the money, what were you doing all this time with yourself? and your money if 
think about it. You know, if if you want to do something and it requires money, then every day, every week, every month, you should be putting something to the side. You go, but hey, I can barely make ends meet now. Well, you can always cut back. I'm not saying that you shouldn't enjoy life in the moment because, you know, life is short and you shouldn't take things so dang seriously. But you have to think that maybe you'll be lucky enough to wake up tomorrow so you better prepare today. Right? Stuck. No. You're not stuck. Not really. You're just stuck up here. You got to change your thinking. You got to change the way you look at things. You know, it's real simple. Long time ago, back in the 70s, when I first got out of college and started to work, actually, I started to work before I got out of college, worked for Control Data Corporation. And people used to have questions. And I would say, you got questions? I got answers. That was long before Radio Shack came up with that slogan. You see, where most people see problems, if you can see solutions, you can make money. There's always opportunity when things look bad. It's just like now. Unemployment's high. Money is tight. Prices are high for a lot of things, but prices are also low for other things. Look at electronics. So if you're stuck, what you have to do is look for a way out. And the way out is to change how you think, how you see things, and, and look at things, and see what's there, not what you think is there. Because usually what happens is, is most people are looking at it the same way, and all they see is a problem, and then one day somebody comes along and sees it differently. They have a different take on it. They seize that opportunity, and they make a bunch of money. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. They used to throw away sawdust. Not anymore. They used to throw away old cooking oil out of restaurants. Not anymore. There's always opportunity out there. Just look for problems. That's where the opportunities lie. So if you're feeling stuck, that's how you get unstuck. You got to see things differently. You got to remember, it's all in your mind. It's all in your head. You're not stuck. Quit thinking you're stuck. You quit thinking you're stuck, then you won't be. Ponder that. Because, see, it gets back to that preparation. Prepare your mind. Not just buying a bunch of beans and bullets and band-aids. Prepare your mind. So if you find yourself in a bad situation, in a SHTF situation, and you're stuck in it, you won't feel stuck. You'll be able to get out of it, hopefully unscathed, because you prepared. Because you know if you fail to prepare today, you're preparing to fail tomorrow.